Hello my dear friends, welcome to Recycle Bin Tech channel. Today we are going to see a modem. It's 5G Hz modem. We are going to convert like a router. Just I simply plug this uh, cable from main modem to this uh, main, uh, main router to this modem. So you can see on off button, Wi-Fi, web button and two phone uh, LAN incoming buttons uh, and ports and extra four ports and this is the detail about this uh, modem it's home gigabytes dg a245v and they provide the qr code and uh, login username password etc everything now we are going to connect with uh, my system to configure the username and uh, Hawaii 2.4 and Hawaii 5G it's written backside of your uh, modem and the password also will be available now it's connected now let us log in La login IP is 192.168.1.1 after login just enter the username password which is provided in the backside of your modem it will be like a user and the password will be hawaii user and why uh, the h will be capital and uh, you in the user you will be the capital almost all the modem it will be the same username password after login just uh, we can directly we can rename the wi-fi name and uh, password for both uh, 2.4 and for 5g 5, 5g hertz now let us provide one name and the password also we will keep the different whatever the password you can if you want you can provide on this and for 5g hertz also let us change if you put for a different like 5g hertz and 2.4 so you can uh, check the speed on both 2.4 you will get uh, less speed and 5g hertz you will get more speed in most of the videos i have said that and in the 5g hertz you the distance will be less and uh, 2.4 the distance will be more and uh, speed will be less so if you nearby you can use 5g hertz you will uh, you, you can uh, use like high speed High speed means we are we are taking some uh, limit speed like a connection like uh, some like 20 Mbps, 100 Mbps or 200 Mbps means more mostly we can use uh, the speed on 5G hertz. In this username password, just provide the password with the uh, characters and numbers. after that we can press return to the so we have changed the username password and we have to log in with the new username that's i provided the name is this after entering the password we can give the next it will sometime it will ask for sharing the details of like that please don't give that like yes whenever you uh, connect your Wi-Fi maybe different different Wi-Fi connect it will ask the same question like uh, you want to share your information so try to pro give the option no just let me enter the password one more time it's the thing which I had said you I had given it's no for connecting this it will it will be it will not be more time but while uh, without internet if we are connecting it will take little little time maybe some seconds only it will, take, it will not take more time see now no internet secured after that we can refresh the screen one more time 
just we can give the option skip because already we have provided uh, those these steps and just click this turn to first of all when you enter that itself you can give the option exit so if you give the exit it will directly it will take to this page so in the overview we can check uh, like that internet it's written over there and the green line it's coming to the router it will be in red color because if it green means the internet is uh, coming that's why now all those we have provided everything in this you can see broadcast ssid if you want to hide your wi-fi name just remove the tick and give a option apply again it's written broadcast ssid in the blue tick remove that blue tick just give the option apply and this is about security everything all those details and and this also we can see the option this uh, 802.11 b slash g n you if you provide only that b slash g some uh, laptops or some old devices may not connect uh, internet with this uh, device so you can use the second option in this we are using the mac filter mac filter means which is uh, block uh, your uh, nearby users using your internet in this black uh, blacklist in the you can use that wi-fi filtering option in this wi-fi filtering option you will see blacklist and whitelist blacklist means you can provide the ip address which the person who don't want to use if you give whitelist you can add the 10 person or 20 person device mac address to this one so only they can use this is parent control using if you are using for children's some they are giving to some unwanted size you can block from here so i said you in the mac filtering the another option also there is like a qr code scanning if you scan the qr code also it will be blocked they cannot use if you provide the mac address in dhcp server you can see just uh, remove those three ticks and uh, give the option apply after applying we have to go for uh, next option that's LAN configuration after entering the LAN configuration just uh, enable the uh, temporary address now just remove the tick and give the apply so it will show like this uh, it's not no not an issue why we are changing the ip means there must not be any conflict while communicating the main <coughs> modem to the this router there must not be any communication issue that's why we are uh, changing the ip just log in one more time and now we are going to after login that we are going to plug the cable on the on this router and check whether the internet connection is available or not mainly the settings we are changing the in the LAN DHCP server and LAN configuration why means this is converting this uh, modem as a bridge mode so it will be very easy to communicate in the IP address from the top you, uh, you can see that 192.168.1.1 just remove and keep apply try to apply like a 2.1 or different IP You can see that a red mark because it's not connected now i plugged the cable let us enter the password one more time this for 5g heights just to check the speed how much i am receiving uh, two three times better to check why check two times
you can see that speed if you connect the cable LAN cable if you are using directly LAN cable you will get uh, more speed because it's now I am using Wi-Fi if we are using directly from the configured modem to the router uh, sorry to the router to the computer it will be a good speed if you like this video please subscribe and support thank you for watching bye bye see you.